Uh, praise God. Probably about one, one o'clock, I'd say, yeah. Dim in. Dim in, yeah. Go on, Kev. Talk to you later. Well, you can give out a few tracks if you want, like. Praise God. So we're here to share the good news of the gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're born again Christians. We don't make money out of this. And we just want to tell you that God has demonstrated all he has on the cross for you. All the love that he has was demonstrated on the cross. All that you need for this life and for godliness and for the next life is in Jesus. Everything. No angels and saints can save anybody. Only Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except through me. You know, in Psalm 53, it says that the fool, the fool says in his heart, there is no God. So you don't want to be a fool today, friend. See, the problem with this current generation is that you don't know the Bible. You haven't studied the scriptures diligently enough to find life in Jesus. And you haven't come to Jesus for his salvation either. So what are you building your foundations on? On Christ, the solid rock I stand, on other ground is sinking sand. Everything, religion is sinking sand. <clears throat> Everything we do in this life, it just adds up to one thing, and you're gone. Where will you spend eternity, friend? Where will you spend eternity? The length of all our days is maybe 70, 80 years, and it's gone. Read Psalm 90. Get familiar with the scriptures because your generation does not know the Bible because you've been, you've been neutered by the education system and by teaching that is false and fake. So you haven't been taught about Jesus and his salvation. You see, he's not a religion. He's a person. He's a sinless person. He is without sin. And you and I, we have lots of sin. We've all sinned. The prophet Isaiah said we're like sheep. We've all gone astray. Each one of us has turned to his own way, but God has laid on him, that is Jesus Christ, all our transgressions and punishment. Everything has been laid on him, friend. So that means you don't have to earn your way to heaven. You can't do it. It's impossible. You can only humble yourself under God's mighty hand and say, Lord, we are in a mess. There's another word for that. This world is finished. It's over. One man said this. He said, normal is not coming back. You better believe it. But Jesus Christ is coming back. Normal is not coming back. There's no normal anymore. That's why you need to be rescued, friend. Everything's going to pass away. But the word of God will never pass away. When was the last time you read the Bible? Do you know in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, it said that no fornicators will enter into the kingdom of God? No thieves, no liars... No adulterers, no homosexuals will enter into the kingdom of God. You don't believe me? Check the Bible. It's God's word. It's his message. It will be opened on the day of judgment. It's his word. It's not, the, it's not a man. It's not a religion. You will have to read it, you see, to get educated. <coughs> Otherwise, you're going to believe what this crowd are telling you over here. And you're going to perish. You're going to hell. You're going to go to hell if you're not educated in the words of God. God is holy, my friend. Your lifestyle is not a holy lifestyle. You're celebrating darkness. And you will perish in that darkness. God is light and in, in him there is no darkness whatsoever. Friend, don't go into 2022 with the same old rigmarole because it's unlikely a lot of what you see today will be here this time next year. But know this, and this is very encouraging. Heaven and earth may pass away, but Jesus said my words will never pass away. Friend, invite him into your life today. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone opens the door, I'll come in with him, and I will dine with him. Do you want to come to the banqueting table of the King of kings and Lord of lords? His name is Jesus Christ, and he invites you to come. He says, Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. You'll find rest for your soul. Are you suicidal? Are you depressed? Are you worried about Christmas and all that old rubbish? Come to the Lord and cast your burdens upon him. And he will sustain you. He's already done everything we need on the cross. For a good man, somebody might dare to die. For a righteous man, possibly. But God demonstrates his love for us in that while you were still a sinner, and while I was still a sinner, Jesus Christ died for the ungodly. This is an amazing gospel, my friend. 
You cannot afford to neglect such a great salvation. When you hear this word today, friend, please do not harden your heart. You see, we've been used to cushier times. Things just drift along nice and handy, and everything is good. The minute there's a problem, we don't know what to do. Friends, we brought this on ourselves. What is happening in the world today is destruction designed and orchestrated by men because of their rebellion against the Holy God. God is shaking this world. Praise God, he's a righteous judge. He can judge this world any way he wants. Read the book of Exodus when he brought the plagues down. Listen, God is God. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness therein belongs to him. Everything in the world belongs to God. But the most important thing in this world, my friend, today is not the hills and the valleys. The most important thing to God today is your soul. That your soul will be saved. That your soul will be redeemed and brought back to God. Nobody else can do it, friend. There is no name given to man under heaven by which we must be saved other than the name of Jesus. Friend, come back to the Lord today. You don't have to struggle on your own. If you want help, if you want encouragement, we can help you. But we have to warn this generation, things are perishing. The world is perishing. We're not going to be here in a few years' time, no matter what happens. The people of this earth have rebelled against God's holiness. And that's why we're in the mess that we're in today. That's why we're in such a disastrous time. Because we've rebelled against God in our sins, in our iniquities. We've rebelled against him. Friends, it's time to turn back to the living God. Repent of your sin. If we confess with our mouths and believe in our hearts that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, we will be saved. We can't afford not to be saved. Because there is a heaven and there is a hell. Make no bones about it, friend. You can't spend eternity in both places. You're going to be in either one or the other. What decision will you make today, friend? If you turn back to the Lord, you'll see that he will, he will love you. He will bless you. He will never turn away anyone who comes to him. No one. He will not turn you away, friend. Never say, I'm too bad for God. Jesus Christ came to save the worst of sinners. And even Paul the Apostle said that he was the chiefest of sinners. So you can be forgiven, friend. You can be reconciled today to the living God. Repent, come back. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus. Praise God, friend.